Sure, so uh, we're here at Google I.O. today to uh, sort of announce our uh, initial release of our, our initial preview, I suppose, of our Android SDK. Okay. So uh, if you go to developer.getpebble.com today, you'll see the initial draft of our Android documentation. Uh, our Android SDK is going to be an intent-based SDK that will allow all pre-existing Android applications to push data and receive data from Pebble. Um, uh, well, yeah, to, uh, to push and receive data from Pebble. Um, okay. So we actually have a demo here today that we did with one of our partners, Runkeeper, um, which shows the bi-directional communication uh, that's made possible through our API. When you run and you perform an activity, it's sort of cumbersome to have your phone in your hand at times, right? That's some of the feedback we got. With this, you sort of got your, your display, your distance, your time, your pace, right on right in your wrist. In addition, you can also start controlling the app Deposit. 4.0, it seems that. Right there. So activity oh, pause, you know, the counter stop, and the button went to resume. So your activity is actually paused. You controlled that right from the launch. And then, of course, to resume it, you do a long press. And we're starting again. So that's what it gives you sort of like that hands free ability, you know? Because people, they wear their garment watch, and they sort of like that form factor. And one of the things that we had to prove first, people even run with their phone, but this is even more convenient. Okay. You know? So we're really, really excited about the integration. Uh, now, one of the things that I want to know is that RunKeeper was one of the first to announce support for Pebble, and it's pretty much like an obvious link. Like the two just seem so natural. Mm -hmm. Like, how hard was it for you when you guys decided to build an app for it? So Matt and I were emailing last week before Google I/O. I got into Palo Alto Sunday night. We came to Pebble headquarters Monday, and in like an hour and a half, we had everything working. Wow! It was really just well, the intense stuff. We just sat down, I banged up the code, and literally in an hour and a half, we were doing the integration. Okay, it's really easy. So at this point, it's basically just fine tuning, making sure everything is good, quality testing and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. And as they evolve their 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 API and their intense infrastructure, we'll hopefully evolve with them and maybe make the display even add more information based on what we find users want. Okay. All right. And this is a Runkeeper paired with Pebble. So we're trying to make it as straightforward uh, and friction-free for Android developers to add optional Pebble support to their applications. Okay, so uh, what are the type of things that people can do with your your SDK? Like, let's say I have a music app. Mm -hmm. uh, how could, could I program it to like control the music through the phone through the watch? Definitely. So. Um, you're capable of, there, our SDK operates on basically three levels. The two ones that are kind of important in that situation would be writing some sort of native application on the watch, okay. and then writing some code, instrumenting some code in your Android application to listen to the events that the watch will send to the phone. Um, and all that will be, our SDK is uh, totally open, so you, everyone's going to have um, all the documentation and tools required to build tools, or to build applications rather, uh, for both the watches and for the handsets for that integration. Now, for someone who's a consumer who's not a developer, why should they be interested in the SDK uh, and the Pebble Watch in general? Well, I think what the SDK will open up and what the Pebble Watch is all about really is customization. So even if one doesn't want to write their own watch applications, uh, there are certain, we're trying to cultivate a very rich developer community that will be writing applications that other users are free to download and install onto their watches and phones. Okay. Uh, so by building an ecosystem of apps, kind of similar to the apps on smartphones, uh, even people who aren't programmers will be able to customize their watches and make them do what they want. Okay, will there be anything that you guys develop internally? Like uh, if you see there's a gap that uh, the developer community is not uh, building towards, will you guys work towards that as well? So, at least initially we sort of have a list of applications that we're going to ship with on the watch uh, that you can see on our Kickstarter video. Okay. There are things like notifications, music control, um, Runkeeper integration, Free Caddy integration, and um, I think uh, calendar support. Okay. Um, and then we'll sort of be building it out uh, from there. I mean, we're really excited to see what kind of the ideas the community has first before we sort of commit to saying like, oh yes, we're absolutely going to do this. Okay. I think it's going to be one of those kind of wait and see sort of things, but at least initially we want to provide a really solid out of the box experience for sort of notifications and uh, interaction with our partner applications. Okay. And uh, lastly, you guys are known as like uh, the most successful Kickstarter to date. 
uh, you, you said that those orders are going to fill by fall. Uh, what about the people that just learned about it and they're interested? When can they expect to place an order? We don't have firm dates yet, but as soon as Kickstarter is out of the way, we're going to move on to fulfilling uh, the pre-orders that we've taken on our website. Okay. Uh, will that be within 2012, or you can't really say for sure? I can't say for sure. Uh, okay. So, as, as soon as possible. We're, basically, what we're committed to is just developing as awesome a product as possible, and we're just trying to do it as quickly as we can. So. Okay. All right. And for developers, remember to go to developer.getbevel.com.